so I started bowling leg spin because the first game I went to watch uh, was at Lords where Rajasthan Royals played against Middlesex and I watched Shane Warne bowl leg spin and I kind of fell in love with it then um, and for me from then it was just about watching as many leg spinners as I can uh, I idolized Shai Dafridi um, when I was younger so he was a big part in shaping the way I bowl, being a little bit quicker through the air, longer run up uh, and the celebration at times. Um, but for me, yeah, it's just, it was just trying to pick up as much as I could off different bowlers. And obviously to start, you need to have a good solid grip, but something that you're comfortable with. I think it changes from spinner to spinner. And I've tried quite a few different things, but for me, it's like the basics is two fingers up, two down just thumb on the side um, when I was younger my hands were a little bit small I used to hold the ball quite tight but um, actually having a slightly looser grip on the ball um, helped me use my spinning finger a lot more um, but then that's my stock seam up grip and then when I go cross seam um, I play around with my fingers a bit sometimes a little bit wider uh, sometimes a bit closer um, but just depends on how I feel, but uh, I've played around with a lot and it's just about try figuring out what works for you. Yes! Oh, the simplest of catches. Yeah, the fourth finger is definitely your main one, um, but I don't have particularly big hands, so I've also tried, um, especially when I go cross seam, having a little bit wider um, middle finger. So then I'm actually trying to use that one as well. Um, and then for my googly, it's definitely trying to get it right out the tip of this finger. I want that coming off the ball last. Um, and when you really rip it out of that, that's when you get a lot of spin on the ball. So wrist position, like you want your back of your hand facing extra cover for your stock leg spinner. And then for the top spinner, it's going to be a little bit more upright and you want that seam pretty much coming straight down. And then for the googly, I'm looking to have the back of my hand facing the batter um, and I'm really trying to get it out the tip of this my fourth finger. Ben Dorcius is the new man in on a appealing for a second in succession and he's gone caught behind by Ferreira. Johan strikes again. It looks like he's just bowled the wrong in there the googly. So I think leg spin is so individual but for me I've always felt comfortable running in because I like having a lot of energy through the crease and that's what works best for me and I've done that since I was young um, but I think it's just really important to have good key basics however you do it whether you walk in whether you run in which is being strong at the crease having a strong core really driving your legs using your whole body having a still head a tall front arm um, and be going towards your target and if you do that then there's so many different ways of doing it you look at someone like Adil versus someone like Rashid Khan who like both extremely successful um, and go about their work completely differently so it's about finding what works for you but just having those really solid basics. Growing up was always anytime you have anything round you have to spin it so whether that be a plum, an orange, an apple before you eat it just give it a little shine and then you gotta spin it and then once you, you get into that habit, it, it helps a lot. Like I did it all the time when I was young. Um, whether you're watching TV, sitting on the sofa, it's just always having a ball, spinning it, spinning it, getting comfortable with different grips, making your finger stronger. And then once you get into the net, then I do a lot of bowling just off a standing base so that you're being in my delivery stride, being nice and strong there. Um, I'll have a mat where I'm looking to pitch the ball uh, and then from here you've got no momentum so you're used uh, you're forced to use your whole body which is the whole purpose of the drill so making sure that you're driving this back leg your front arm is nice and tall you're really having a good good turn um, so it looks something like this Um, and, and I'll bowl a lot of balls like that, especially when I was younger, um, building up my action to get stronger. Orthodox with the spin turning into him, he's gone underneath this one, Root underneath it, ninth wicket has gone. Yeah, for me, I think you've got to understand your bowling and when it's not going right, what, what is your miss? So for me, I know sometimes I, I get a bit too quick through the crease, so like I run in and then I don't have as much time to be really nice and tall and use my whole body and my action. 
So for me, it's trying to be as relaxed as I can, um, not running in too quick, making sure that I'm tall and I'm using my front arm and not collapsing. Because if you collapse, then you're gonna end up pushing the ball down leg side and end up being shorter. You're not gonna have as much spin on it. So for me, just being really, really relaxed and be really nice and tall, have my head up, get my front arm really nice and high. Um, and if I'm doing that, then I know I'm gonna be in a good place. I think for me, one thing that's helped me a lot is accepting that there are gonna be games where you're gonna get hit. As a leg spinner, you're never gonna be in the team to be the super consistent one. Obviously, you wanna be a consistent performer, but you have gotta understand that you're gonna bowl bad balls, you're gonna get hit, but it's looking to be really aggressive and always knowing how you're trying to take wickets. Um, and for me, when I'm looking to take wickets, I bowl a lot better than when I'm looking to bowl defensively. Um, so it's knowing your role in the team and just, you can't let your head go down. You have to have a big heart as a spinner. Oh, sorry. I, I was trying to miss you.